Lance, what's a commonly held belief about, about website optimization that you passionately disagree with? Great question. And uh, I would say um, the belief that faster loading pages always equal better customer experience. Gotcha. And what should everybody stop doing then? What, what are they doing today that they really should just stop doing? Stop accelerating pages without understanding the downstream effects on the end user. Oh, okay. Can you give me an example of what you, where you've seen that? Sure. So performance metrics like onload can be gained such that the event happens more quickly without regard to the effect on the user experience. In fact, we've seen instances where onload was accelerated but critical content was not loading or images are over compressed and grainy and that hurts the user experience and conversion. So they're just optimizing for speed and not ever, the entire experience, in other words. Correct. Okay, gotcha. So what should they do instead? Um, invest in tools that provide a holistic picture of customer satisfaction based on the unique experiences visitors have on specific websites. Then present those results in quantified business terms. So uh, this manner of thinking is most relevant to brands selling goods or services in a competitive marketplace. But if you're a niche provider with few or no competitors, you can allow your customers to suffer poor experiences because the customer has nowhere else to purchase the desired good. So again, uh, if you are if you are in a competitive um, sales landscape, you know those those customer experiences are going to be super important, and they're also going to be unique to your website. Gotcha. So if you are selling the exact same thing that three other companies are and you provide a bad experience, they're going to bounce and they're going to go over to the, one of the other competitive sites. Absolutely. That's going to cost you money. Okay. Got it. So why do you think everybody's been looking at it the way they have? Well, it's easy to say, make the website faster, right? Uh, uh, however, uh, it's critical that changes to the website also measure the impact to customer experiences and business outcomes. So improving website performance in a vacuum will not necessarily improve the desired outcomes. Gotcha. Uh, and and why should they take your suggestion? Why should they think about it this way? Sure. Uh, simply, more people are engaging with brands today than at any other time in the past online. So to be successful, online brands need to provide exceptional frictionless customer experiences. Gotcha. And have you seen some results that you could share? What are some examples of this where customers have or uh, companies have taken this approach to friction and they've seen positive results from it? Uh, let's talk about maybe not positive results, but a negative results. So uh, okay. we have seen instances where online retailers saw better conversions when pages loaded more slowly and they assumed the behavior was unique to their website and that performance improvements would hurt conversions. And that manner of thinking was completely false. Uh, what we saw was that when the web pages loaded more quickly, up to 30% of the content was missing. When the web pages loaded slowly, all of the relevant content appeared, leading to higher conversions versus the faster experiences with less content. Once we were able to identify and confirm the issue, the customer was able to make the necessary changes so that the faster page load experiences were including all of the content. After the fix, conversions nearly doubled. Wow, okay, so that's, that really goes against what people think that a slower experience might be better. So it's really not just speed, but it's about the user experience is what you're saying. Entirely, yes. yes. Okay, okay. It, you got to look in the holistic view of it. So so for somebody who, who would want to take your advice on this, what are the steps they should follow? First, use a platform that will identify, diagnose, and provide remediation solutions that are based on business outcomes and not wishful thinking. <laughs> I love that wishful thinking. Um, and, and so how are, how are companies getting it wrong? Uh, well, data out of context is misleading, right? Practitioners need to see and understand the entire customer journey within the framework of the desired outcome the business is trying to achieve. If you can do that, you'll be delighting your customers and they will reward you with their business. Gotcha. A okay. So equation. Makes, makes a lot of sense. What's the one big takeaway that you'd like the audience to get from this discussion? Providing great online experiences for your customers hard. Don't fall into the trap that there's an easy button. Practitioners need to be experts in their field. They should take the time to understand performance concepts and learn to address them for business outcomes. Excellent. So uh, so now we're through the, the scripted questions. Let's just kind of go off. So so do you think frictionless experiences are a bigger deal today than they were five years ago? 
Absolutely. I think uh, I think the pandemic, the global pandemic, changed uh, changed everything. More and more people are online today than have ever been in the past. In fact, some estimates say that online adoption was accelerated by anywhere from five to ten years. So, absolutely, performance matters. There's also far more competition out there for those types of dollars, and they are going to go to the site that's going to provide them not only the best price and the best product, but the best customer experience. Yeah, right. And that customer experience in a digital world is all about what happens online on the actual purchase. 100%. Gotcha.